I saw a video where this man, he was standing on the streets, he was holding up a sign, he was preaching about God. He was trying to bring, you know, bring a lot of lost souls back to the Most High. And you had people going up to this man, hitting him, trying to tear his sign up, just doing all kinds of stuff. But not once did he stop. Not once did he allow outside noise to kind of, you know, trip him up. He kept doing what he was called to do. And that's what I want a lot of you guys to understand. You're going to have people that are not okay with what you're doing. They're going to try to tell you, this is what you should be doing. Go get a nine to five. Go do this. Go do that. You do what God is calling you to do, and you stay focused on that. So I need to get that out really quick. The next thing I want to bring up before I get into the video is recognize the signs when someone is on purpose coming in your life to take advantage of you. Some of you really need to work on your cutoff game. Put some power behind that no. I don't care if it's family, uh, close friends, whoever. You know, some of you have people around you know, who knows exactly what to do to manipulate you out your whole paycheck. They know just what to say, when to cry on cue. They're always going through some kind of crisis right around your payday. Or they'll throw up in your face what they did for you back in 1998 to make you feel bad. So you'll go out of your way for them. Don't allow anyone to come in feeling like they have that kind of power or control over you. Stand on that no. I watched this video of this young guy he had a lot to say a lot to unpack about how God uses people God's messengers you know the guy's whole attitude the whole time he was delivering his message was absolutely horrifying you know he was like if God wants to talk to me he can talk to me directly which is true and you know maybe God has tried but you missed it so he sent in that messenger, that prophet, you know, that person you ran into at the grocery store to give you a message or warning, or maybe your pastor at your church delivered a message through his teachings that day, but you refused to pay attention. You know, I remember a young woman who told her story about the first time God used a prophet to get a message to her. The young woman said it brought her to tears what the other woman was revealing to her. You know, God was using that other woman that day to speak to this woman, you know, to bring the message. Um, and it just, sometimes it can scare people. But um, any true prophecy is a word from the Lord spoken in the words of a human being. Therefore, anyone who prophesies has to take responsibility for how they prophesy. Some would like to supernaturalize prophecy to such an extent that they themselves no longer have responsibility for the prophetic message. But the Lord does not give us that option. If he wanted to speak directly to you and not through, the, you know, not through a human, he could do so. But when God speaks through prophecy, he speaks through a human being with human capabilities and weaknesses. Something I notice, a lot of people love to turn their nose up at the messenger. You know, I guess we're looking for the messages or whoever, the, whoever God is using to come from that well-dressed man or woman with the big house, nice cars out back, large following. People just look up to them. Whole time, God's probably not even using them at all. You know, the whole time these people, the world worships or look at as true followers of Christ. You know, a lot of these people are actually getting their messages from familiar spirits. They're into heavy witchcraft, black magic, and they got their wealth in darker ways. But quick to say their blessings are from the most high. Their gifts are from the most high. Remember, the enemy uses people every day and rewards them for winning souls. But, you know, there's always a price to pay for that. So to end this video, I just want to say this. It is not our job to place the creator in a box. Never limit what God can do in your life or who he decides to use to help you along your path. God has immense power, so why would he limit his ways to our level? God loves taking us through impossible situations so that his power can be seen. You know, you should praise him when you find yourself in a situation where there seems to be no hope. Because it's in those moments when God wants to show off in our lives. Thank you for listening.